Welcome to Too Late. I'm your host, Adam Carolla. My guest tonight has turned his household pranks into a cottage industry. Here's a look at some of his earlier work. Pay nine bucks a day, you can do whatever the hell you want with a rent a car. Welcome to Too Late from Viva La Bam, Bam Margera. Good to see How you, you Bam. Thanks for coming. Uh, did you ever... Okay, so you do this stuff, which is cool, and I, I, I've done some of this myself, but then I don't film it and put it on TV so the cops <laughs> can find out who did it. Well, like, you know what I mean? At that point, I was driving this uh, 89 Buick that my Aunt Booth gave me for free, so I, I, anybody was like, hey, man, what happens if you get sued? Like, what are they going to do? Take my... 989 Buick that my aunt gave me. I don't care. Go so, ahead. so like, did they, <laughs> but have you ever been arrested? <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for for a stunt. Um. Oh man, there's so there's so many. Uh, yeah, I, I actually uh, that clip that you just saw there right. when the CKY 2K came out, mm -hmm. um, the West Goshen police like came knocking on my door and they were like, you know, trying to. They're saying, like, hey, man, you, like, lit your car on fire. I'm like, I didn't light the car on fire. Ray Kion did it. I had nothing to do with it. I just happened to be filming it. So, and, so I mean, <laughs> how many hours in community service do you owe? Like, s several million years? I mean, yeah, what like, did I do? do you, like, have you actually done time? Yeah, um, not, not, not jail, but uh, I did a whole lot of community service, like, during those CKY days. If I were you, like, if I was your dad, I would have just killed you <laughs> and collected on the insurance many, many years ago. Probably yeah. somewhere in your early teens, like uh, right after your bar mitzvah. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're a Jew. Um, <laughs> bam, hot rod rental cars. I know, I know the profile of a Jew. Uh, but I mean, does your dad ever like say you've crossed a line or seriously get pissed and say no more? Uh, y yeah, a few times. Uh, actually, the ma the most mad he's ever got was when uh, I just said when we were filming Jackass, I'm like, just say hi, my name is Johnny Knoxville, welcome to Jackass. That's all you have to do. He's like, do you promise that's all I have to do? Because I have to go to work right now. I don't need to do any pranks. I'm like, yes, I promise. That's all I'll do. So. Uh, you know, I held the camera up, he said it, and then I just grabbed these, like, stack of bananas, and I wailed him in the face so hard with it. And then he was like, F this, I quit the and show, and then he, like, walked but off. But, I mean, and... he likes it now. I mean, he likes the notoriety and stuff, Yeah, well, right? he, yeah, he's, you know, he, he didn't, he doesn't really get any excitement in the bakery, so, like, right. when I come up and beat him up and stuff like that, then, you know, he gets his hey, adrenaline I can't, well, I'm surprised, so. I'm surprised to learn the guy was a baker. He's so svelte, you know, he's, he's, he's lean. You don't, <laughs> you don't normally see that. I guess he doesn't sample his own product. Uh, let's take ourselves some uh, phone calls, by the way. Any uh, questions you have, you call 1-866-HEY-ADAM, and we'll be willing to answer them. We've got a question on line six for Patrick. Yeah. From Duluth, Minnesota. What's happening, Patrick? I'm not too much. How about you? Just hanging here with Bam. What's your question? Um, with all that mess that's going on with Cheney, do you think he's guilty? Yeah, this is politics. Bam, you follow politics closely? Not one bit. Yeah, me neither. I don't know anything about like that. I'm not even okay. sure why we took that call. Did I, did I hang up on you? No. All right, well, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah, if you hear no, it just means they don't have to say no. Like, if you go, did I hang up on you? You could go, yeah, and I'd still, it still would mean no. That, that's the interesting part about asking about hanging up. Uh, Nicole, 20, Orlando, Florida. Nicole? Hey. What's up? Um, uh, nothing. I have a serious question for you, Bam. No fooling around. Let me ask something real quick. At what point in your life do you drop the really long hey? Like, when you're, when you're 20, it's like, hey! <laughs> but you don't hear any 89-year-olds going, hey! You, you know what I mean? At some yeah. point, it just turns into hey. <laughs> Take up some space before you just jump right into the question. Sure. Yeah. Uh, What's the right. question for Bam? Um, what does Jessica Simpson look like naked? Mm -hmm. La la la. Can we switch that? Oh really? 
too I'm much. so sick of Star Magazine knocking on my door. Are, are they? Well, I, I met her once. On hold. Like, yeah. You met, well, I've been, I was hearing stuff, too, but I had no idea what to think or believe. It just turned into complete mayhem. Like, really, like, I... I you're, you're friends with her? I was, but people just blow so much out of proportion that, like, I seriously can't even take it anymore. Like, I don't want to... I don't want to ever answer any question again. But it's not, I, I, it's not such a bad deal having people think you Jessica Simpson because she's hot. You, you know what I mean? I mean, you could have worse people on your resume. I just feel bad. I hate looking at magazines seeing that I never said, and I just... I, I, just... I, I understand that, but, like, once in a while, somebody accuses you of screwing some fat chick from high school, and you're like, whoa, <laughs> no... Uh, uh, Cammy, I don't think so. <laughs> but if someone ever said, like, hey, did you have sex with Jessica Simpson? I'd be like, all right, yeah. It sounds like it would be, you know, a yeah. good thing, but when you have, like, your ex-girlfriend, like, breaking uh, stuff at your house while you're in Brazil about, uh, so like... So she, like, freaked out, went over to your house? Well, she lived there, and oh. I had to call the cops oh. to get her out of there. Wow. It's a disaster. The cops must have been, like... Oh, you mean the guy who set the rental car on fire? Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. We'll be there in three months. <laughs> Honey, you keep going. You want to send a guy over with a chainsaw so you can really get going? Wow. Yeah, you call the cops. That's funny. <laughs> First time you've actually called the cops as opposed to cops being called on you. Weren't you uh, laughing at us when you lit the rental car? Right. No, 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 that wasn't me. That's, that's, my, that's my brother, yeah. All right, so it never did anything with Jessica Simpson. No. But... If you did, you wouldn't tell us. Right. <laughs> hmm. All right, we're going to uh, <laughs> wrestle with that. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more BAM after this. Hello? Now, listen to me. Hello? One minute. You know, she does this to me all the time. She's talking to someone, and I'm having a conversation. I'm stuck like a on the phone. Hello? Welcome back to Too Late. I'm Adam Carolla, Bam Margera in here tonight. And uh, yeah, I used to do that to my dad almost every day. <laughs> so awesome. I, I got to be honest with you. I don't want to go, uh, I don't want to get too scat on anybody. But when I get to minute number five of the toilet beating, I reach in eventually <laughs> and, and pull out just a little bit of ammunition. Like, I'm only gonna be beaten on the pot for so long before I fight back the only way I know how. See, but Phil's mentality, like, if you just heard it, he said, Ape, he's starting to lose it. Like, starting <laughs> to. That wasn't losing it. Like, there's still more to do. Yeah. And, see, so he, he, I could probably do more stuff, and I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. And you really, it's, it looked painful, even though there was a good two feet between your hand and any vital organs that may have been I have this, I have this tactic that, uh, you know, I'll just hit from his stomach to up here, like stomach to yeah. like face, and he's like slow, so he has to go like this, <laughs> and I just figure out like a method to go like, huh? you know? I know. <laughs> it's, it's weird, but... You can do that when you're screwing with your dog, too. You know, just get the <laughs> dog will do this as many times. Yeah. Uh, all right. And I got a little head rush there. Uh, all right, we're just talking about Jessica Simpson, and we're not going to talk about her anymore. But I do want to talk about Ashley Simpson, whose new record, I Am Me, is number one on the uh, Billboard charts uh, over here. I'm not sure uh, what the hell camera I'm giving this to, but uh, number one. And I just thought to myself, didn't we agree that she stunk? I mean, at least musically, like <laughs> as a society. Didn't we see her on Saturday Night Live? I or, missed it. I, oh, I you missed it? I don't have a television. Oh, really? you got to get a TV. I don't, I don't want one. How, how about a... <laughs> or the Orange Bowl. Show the uh, Orange Bowl clip. You made me want... Oh, 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 oh! You made me want... You made me want... Oh, 
<laughs> Those Miami fans can be so cruel. Uh, but so right at the same time. But point is, is that is not the voice of a number one album. That's all I'm saying. And uh, I just want to get to the bottom of it. So we went to Lou's record store via satellite, by the way, our big satellite out in Encinitas, California. Greaser is over there working at Lou's. Greaser? Yes. Yeah, Mr. Personality. What's happening, my brother? <laughs> uh, you know, just doing what I can. Where's, uh, where's Lou, by the way? Lou it always takes Tuesdays off. Oh, really? Yeah, you can't deal with the uh, new releases and whatnot. Oh, that's right, because they drop on Tuesdays. And yeah. she, her album is currently number one. Is that correct? Unfortunately. Oh, I see. You're not not a big Ashley Simpson fan, huh? Um, <laughs> she's good on the eyes. Right. Who are you that's in? About it. Who are you into? Pantera? <laughs> no. Well, they're all right, but. I'm more into uh, bands like, like Bam likes, Turbo Negro and stuff. Oh! Easy there, sorry. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and let me, let me tell you, I, I, I'm guessing you're, you're on the wrong side of the tracks, by the way. I know those are just tracks, but I'm guessing you'd be on the wrong, wrong side of them, Greaser. Is there, <laughs> is there any customers in your godforsaken store? Yes, there are. There's, some, there's a few customers here. Really? Hey, cameraman, give, out of stocking give a quick uh, pan around the store. I just want to get a lay of the land. Yeah. All right? This is a wonderful Lose Records. Wow. Bustling. That looks like Ashley <laughs> there. Is yes. that Ashley? No. Who's that? Oh, don't, don't hide, know. baby. That's <laughs> it. looks just like it. Wow, it really does look like that. Hey, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> I feel horrible. Why? I, I've been talking all that about her and there she is <laughs> well you know we, we we did what we could we, we, we i don't know she shops here all the time all right so uh no bongs you don't move too many ashley simpson cds no and your favorite Goblin band Clocks are our biggest seller favorite band is what turbo negro i From norway i, I said our pretty uh, really yeah. what are they called their name is turbo negro and they uh they dress as like gay people and play full-blown punk rock Wow. <laughs> Dude, the, be the best, best thing about it was uh, they just played L.A. and Ashley Simpson was at the show. Wow. See, it's all she's, come she's together. To cred. Full circle. What a place to go out. Hey, who are you now? Seriously, we're leaving. <laughs> okay, later. Get rid of the grease, man. Thank you, Greaser. We appreciate cool. it. Cool. Take it easy, guys. All no right. problem. We're cool. going to uh, take ourselves a little break. I'm going to perform an amazing stunt. Bam's going to hang out. We'll do all that after this. I'm just taking a piss right now. I have to call you up. Roar! I love you, Adam. You're so cool. Yeah! Yeah! My name's Corey. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I have the strength to carry a heavy load of lies. Yeah. Where did you go to finishing school, my brother? <laughs> Welcome back to Too Late. I'm Adam Carolla. That's Bam Margera over there. And uh, Bam, that is some hairy stuff you just did there. Hairy. That was like when I, I just turned 21 and I was allowed in, in the bars and I was just so stoked. So like, <laughs> I was <laughs> just stage diving off and then getting in bar fights and things like that. Yeah, <laughs> it was hairy. It was a good six on the hero meter, but uh, what I'm about to do is a 10 plus. You've noticed the padding. I know. I'm, I don't know what you're gonna. Well, the hardcore guys put the helmets on. I don't know if you heard. Uh, I don't even see what you could possibly. I oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna ride a unicycle. <laughs> okay, you're all fired. <laughs> Except for the guy who works this camera, and he's going to be fired as soon as I fall off the unicycle. But I want you to keep the camera rolling. Uh, I'm going to get on my unicycle, Bam, and I'm going to hop on it up here, and I'm going to ride 
my <laughs> unicycle, and I'm going to drop what has to be at least nine feet. Because <laughs> I'm 14 feet. I'm going to drop off of this on my unicycle, and I'm going to pedal away. Are you pretty good on a unicycle, or you never tried it? One would have to be to do this stunt. <laughs> All right. Hey, now, do you think I can make this? Well, I hope you don't, because then I'll laugh a little harder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to first hop on said unicycle and ride down these stairs. Just, just to show you, I mean business. The great Bam Margera can't ride it down, but Ace Man can. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I think you got it. I made that look easy, didn't I? Thank you, thank you, thank you. You want to do it again? <laughs> oh, okay, one minute left. I was wondering what this was. All right. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, this is a totally different animal here, though. This is a long way down. Yeah. Uh, you ever see that, uh, that play that takes place around uh, Christmas called The Nutcracker? <laughs> now, Bam, I'm going to need you to... Either call the paramedics or call my insurance company or call my wife <laughs> if and when this thing doesn't work, all right? Whew. Here we go. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> How's the nuts? You think Letterman would try this? <laughs> Hell no! Oh, that did hurt. <laughs> <sighs> oh, oh. 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 That was brutal. Sometimes the slams are just. I more gotta do it one more makes. time, though. The oh. slams are better than the make. <laughs> Where's the drum roll? Uh, my confidence is shaking, Bam. <laughs> Damn! All right, One more. One more. <laughs> I hope you're next. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you bastard! That's right. I, I was a clean ride! <laughs> I can't believe you made it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it is uh, rarefied air we both live in, my friend. <laughs> rarefied. We'll be right back after this. Oh. Welcome back to you later, Amanda Parole. That's Bam Margera. And uh, we are out of time because uh, I got to dunk the sack and some ice, <laughs> and Bam's got to have sex with a model. So I'd like to thank Bam for coming out tonight. Uh, show four and five of Viva La Bam. I should say uh, seasons four and five of Viva La Bam. Coming out on DVD at the end of the year. And until next time, this is Adam Carolla saying mahalo. <laughs>
on South Park. Homosexuals think they can just step all over our tradition. Marriage is a holy sacrament between a man and a woman. Who is that lady? I don't know, but she is pissed. South Park is coming up next.